Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris. I hope you're doing good. Today I'm going to talk about a product that's a little bit out of my niche, but that I think is very, very interesting. So Ultra Human reached out to me. By the way, I'm not being paid to do this review. I just get the ring for free. That's it. And they sent me this Ring Air. This is a small ring. I chose the titanium uh, version edition looks uh, because I really like this titanium look. And the reason I accepted or I wanted to do this review is because I find the concept extremely interesting. I personally owned and used five Apple Watches. I'm an Apple person, so I got the Apple Watch, but it's the same for Samsung watches, okay? Smart watches in general are an amazing, fantastic design and product that is very useful. But the only thing is, and the biggest problem is that I don't want to have the same watch all the time on my wrist, A, and B, I don't want to have a, an extension of my phone on my wrist either, because we have enough screens and phones and things everywhere. So if I can have something that just takes my metrics without having to have an additional screen there, it's great. And if you go out with a tux or you go out with a nice shirt or you just want to have a watch, let's say a mechanical watch, which is what I love to use, then I like not to have my, my Apple Watch with me. And that is where this ring comes in. There's a lot of reviews out there talking about this ring, talking about what it can do, what it can't do. But the main thing I want to focus on here, because I could be making a two hours video and still not cover everything and every metric this watch can provide. What I want to do is just tell you a little bit my experience, how I've been using this watch and also a little bit the size and you know how it feels on the hand, which is I'm sure what you're interested in if you're watching this video. Let's do it. The weight ranges from 2.4 to 3.6 grams. And that is depending obviously on the size that you pick, if you pick a big or small size, but that alone, I mean, we're for the most part under four grams, which is so lightweight, you don't even feel it. In terms of thickness, we range between 2.4 and 2.8 millimeters. In terms of width, we're at 8.1 millimeters, which is a little bit thick, but it doesn't look bad. And I have thicker rings, so it is by far not the thickest I've seen. And I, I just think it looks great, no matter, you know, which hand I wear it on, uh, it, it, it really looks great on the hand. For the material used for the outer shell, I'm going to read this from the website. So it is made from fighter jet gray titanium reinforced with tungsten carbide carbon coating. Wow, that was a mouthful. Anyways, what that means is that it is resistant to wear and tear and uh, just, you know, you can use it on an everyday basis without scratching it. Now, they also tell you when you get the ring in the box that you need to be careful with your ring. Obviously, it's a piece of tech that you know, you want to treat correctly. You're not going to take your Apple Watch and start banging it on things. And you're not going to use your ring on, you know, metal and start scraping it on the floor or what. Just be careful with it. Obviously, it's a little bit of common sense. But yeah, I, I they say you tend to forget it, but I don't personally forget it. I do remember that I have a ring that I don't want to have scratches on. That is me. Maybe you're different, but just just pay attention to it. Same for the inner part. I'm going to read what it says. It says the inner of the ring is coated with medical grade hypoallergenic epoxy resin. What that does basically is that it keeps it comfortable all day long. That is true, yes and no. For the most part, I think it is very, very comfortable. Now in the sizing process, they don't have in between measures like eight and a half. So I had to take an eight. Uh, eight is maybe a little bit too tight, but most of the time it's fine. I often change finger. I use this or this indexes for the daytime and at night I usually put it here in the middle, which keeps a good contact, but it's a little bit more loose. So when I wake up, I don't have a problem with my fingers and the blood circulation because of the ring. But overall, I think the, the material itself is very, very comfortable and I didn't really have a problem with my skin getting irritated or anything like that. It uses low energy Bluetooth. So that ties up to the battery life. Okay. Battery life is promoted as six days. I personally did not experience that. All right. I usually tend to get close to maybe 15% after three and a half, four, maybe four and a half days. So what I tend to do, and they advise you to do that. That's what they 
say you should do is to charge it often, not to drain it, charge it 100%, but just keep it between, you know, 20, 30 and 80% so that the, the, the battery is happier to be, uh, you know, charged regularly. And that's basically what I do. Sometimes I'm in the office, I just check the battery. I'm like, okay, 30%, let's put it on charge for half an hour, 45 minutes. I go back to 70, 80%. And off you go for another three or four days. So battery life, I think, is great. That brings me to a point that's related to this also. And I asked Ultra Human that how that works is how long does the ring keep the data for? Because I was in Morocco recently in holidays. When I say recently, I mean I came back yesterday. And <clears throat> I was a little bit concerned as to how long the data would be kept in the ring when I don't have my phone with me. Because I went there and I left my phone in a safe pretty much the whole time uh, so that I could just enjoy life for a week. And I was wondering how long is the data gonna be stored and the data will be stored so long as there is battery remaining in the ring. So you don't have to worry, so long as the battery doesn't die, your data is safe. It is compatible with iPhones and Android, so no matter what you use, you're gonna be able to link this to your phone. There's a bunch of sensors that record a lot of things. Once again, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but these sensors are as follows. There is an infrared PPG sensor, and in fact, there's a little red light in the ring. There is a non-contact medical grade skin temperature sensor. The skin temperature sensor basically checks the skin temperature as opposed to a thermometer that you put in your ear to get the actual temperature. It is not the same and in the app they tell you this is not a medical thermometer. What is this useful for? It is useful for the app to know and for the sensor to check if there's a deviation from your usual regular temperature and it tells you there was a deviation either higher or lower and let's say that you have a plus one information of temperature going higher, then you can think with, oh, okay, let's take a thermometer and check my temperature. Maybe I have a fever. There are six axis motion sensors. So it basically there's accelerometers and a lot of other sensors that check basically how gyroscope, how you're moving your finger and that detect that way if you're sleeping, if you're walking, if you're running, if you're doing exercise and whatever you're doing, uh, thanks to those sensors. The three different LEDs are as follows. There's a red one, which monitors the heart rate and the oxygen saturation really cool there is a green one that measures the heart rate and there is an infrared one that monitors the heart so all those things are monitored automatically and in fact it's funny because when you lay down at night there's no light sometimes you see a little green light that flashes you know uh, green around your finger your hand is like all lit up let's talk about the battery it is a 24 milliamp hour rechargeable but not replaceable battery uh, they claim six days but Unfortunately, I didn't get more than four to four and a half days. And um, it takes about two to three hours to get your ring from zero to 100. One thing that I did ask Ultra Human, I was curious about, uh, is, is your battery going to drain more if you check the stats on your phone? And the answer is yes. The more you connect your phone to your ring, the more battery you're going to be using. So try to use it not too often so that you save a little bit of battery. Let's talk about the ordering procedure. How does it work? It is very simple. You order your ring, you get a box. That box has all the different sizes that they propose. You check it, you keep it on for a couple of days, day and night, just to make sure that it is comfortable. It is going to be pretty much the same as having the actual ring. So that will allow you to make sure for a few days that you get the right size, because obviously you can't just replace the ring since it is, well, you, you understand why you can't replace this ring. It's pretty obvious. So you get that pack of, of rings, of dummies, you try them on, you check which one is best. I had two or three on my, on my fingers at the same time to, just to see which one fits best. And once you're done, you send them the actual size and that will start the process of making your ring. Now, the process took around three weeks and I had to ask a few times. There, there was some delays on the production line, at least for me. So I don't know if it's because it's a testing ring that they sent to me as a YouTuber or if it's like that in general, but yeah, it took a little bit longer than I expected. Now, my actual experience with the rig. For sleep purposes, it is great, and that's exactly what, one of the main reasons why I wanted to have this is because it checks how much you sleep, how much, you know, deep sleep, light sleep, awake, how many toss and turns, and things like that. So it really tracks everything you do during your sleep, which I think is really cool. It gives you an actual stat, but it also gives you, you know, advanced AI things such as, when you should stop drinking caffeine and when you can actually start drinking caffeine again and what uh, time you should go to sleep. And 
if you slept less than you should and you accumulate that lack of sleep, then what time you should go to sleep. I mean, it's pretty advanced and it's fun. It's actually fun to use. So all those features also come with stats. So everything I'm going to tell you has stats, statistics. So you have an actual graph and you can go through and see your best, your personal worst, when you slept better and, and, and things like that. So it's really cool. The other thing is the movement index. The movement index tells you, you know, the steps, how much you moved, how much uh, you know, when, when you got actually a workout or you had a little bit more physical activity and it can tell you your score based on how you're moving throughout the day. You can be moving a lot in the morning, stop moving in the afternoon and it will lower your score because throughout the day you didn't regularly kept moving every hour. So that is also very cool. It gives you a stress rhythm wheel. So that again is very complex. There's different phases, different times at night, in the evening. And after, anyways, it, you need to really see that in the Ring app itself and, and see how it works. But it takes around one week to calibrate your baseline and to calibrate how you work. So it's not the same for everyone. Obviously, everyone is different. Everyone has different life rhythms and so forth. So it adapts to, to your own style and, and style of movements and how your rhythm is. And it tells you how your stress, le stress level is. Now, I don't know how accurate stress level is, to be honest. Sometimes I looked at my, my stats in real time. It says, you're stressed. And I'm like, no, I'm not stressed. I'm just chilling out. I'm not sure what this is based on. Maybe it's, you know, depending on how mentally stressed you are, even if you're doing nothing, but you know, your heart rate and your, your, your sweat, and maybe that, that, you know, it takes a lot of different metrics into, into account, but it, it is true that sometimes, you know, I'm like stressed about something and I look and it just spikes up. So for the most part, it is pretty accurate. There's a new feature called sleep depth, which is how much sleep you own basically to yourself. <laughs> it's actually very fun. Um, if you go to sleep late and you don't sleep enough, you're in minus. But they do regular uh, updates of the software, which is great to do it through your phone. You press, it just does the update rapidly and you restart the app and you're good to go. So nothing else to do than that. Very, very cool. Another thing that I personally like is the resting heart rate. Um, having a good resting heart rate that's low and that drops not too late during the night. It also checks out when is your, your, your lowest heart rate drop what time it happens. And that's a good indication of how your heart is doing. Uh, the fact that it doesn't need to pump so much to get the blood into circulation is a good indication that your heart is in good shape. So again, it's not a medical grade device, but it gives you an indication that tells you a little bit how you're doing. There is a charging base and you just put it on, it's USB-C, very simple to use. There's a little light purple and when it turns white, it means that your ring is actually charging. Can you bring this ring underwater? The answer is yes, up to 100 meters. I've been in a lot of swimming pools and no worries at all. I asked Ultra Human a question about this. Can you go in salty ocean water? And the answer was yes, without a problem. You can go do your scuba diving and whatever you want to do, it's not a problem. Now, where I went, there was a lot of sand on the beach, obviously, and I didn't want to, you know, have micro scratches on the titanium, on the metal surface. So I personally chose not to use it. I kept it with me in a little pouch, waterproof. And when I was done with the beach, I would just put it back on and go in the swimming pools and do other activities. So you can, they told me you can, it's just up to you if you want to do it or not. The price comes at $349 for this ring. If you consider everything I've been telling you, if you consider all the, the trackings, all the stats, the pretty good accuracy, I would say, and the extra features and things and updates and so forth that it gives you, it is, I think, in my opinion, a pretty good price. That tells you a little bit an overall panoramic view of a user that's been using this now for a little over a month and that really likes it actually. I hope to see you in my next video. If you like my content, don't hesitate to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And until then, take care. Cheers.